Hello everyone. Today I will show you about very basic understanding of hidden Markov model. Hidden Markov model is a statistical Markov model in which the system is being modeled is assumed to be a Markov process with unobserved state. We will start with the scenario. We have a lovely couple named KD and DK. KD is a moody person whereas DK is a smart girl. KD loves food. If he gets his choice of food, he brings DK for shopping and DK knows what KD wants. Earlier it was not the scenario, but now she knows it. How? She knew that KD is a foodie person. She has started observing KD's food choice. When it's a hot day, KD asks for ice cream. When it's a rainy day, KD asks for pizza. So now she has only two choice. When it's a hot day, KD will ask for ice cream. And when it's a rainy day, KD will mostly ask for pizza. Now, it was never easy for DK to understand KD. There are a couple of scenarios when KD do not follow this pattern. DK found KD mostly asks for ice cream when it's a hot day. And he mostly asks for pizza when it's a rainy day. But there are some exceptions. DK has calculated probabilities and now concluded when KD asks for pizza, there are 70% chances that it's a rainy day. So there are remaining 30% chances that it could be a hot day. And when he asks for ice cream, there are 80% chances that it is a hot day. And there are 20% chances that it's a rainy day. DK made a weekly notes for Katie's food and weather. She checked on weather forecasting that it's Monday, it's a rainy day, Tuesday, it's a hot day. Wednesday is a rainy day, Thursday is a hot day, Friday is a rainy day, and Saturday is a hot day. So based on DK's inference, what she knows, if it's a rainy day, Katie will ask for pizza on Monday. Katie will ask for ice cream on Tuesday. Katie will ask for pizza on Wednesday. And as it's a hot day on Thursday, Katie will ask for ice cream on a Thursday. Katie will ask for uh, pizza on Friday and ice cream on Saturday. I know. It's a kind of strange to have this kind of weather. If a day is rainy day, it's a most likely that the next day could be a rainy day too. If, it, if the day is hot day, there are most likely chances that the next day would be the hot day again. So go back to our model. Pizza and ice cream. We have the probability that Kitty is asked for pizza when it's a uh, rainy day and we have the probability of uh, KD ask ice cream when it's a hot day or rainy day. Let's say KD is asking pizza today, the probability of KD asking pizza next day is 80%. So the remaining 20% is uh, KD ask for ice cream next day. And likewise if KD ask for ice cream today, the next day KD ask for ice cream is 60% whereas remaining 40% he could ask for pizza. So what we have here is hidden Markov model. Hidden Markov model has two states. One is observation states and hidden states. Observation states are states that you can see. So DK observes weather. She doesn't get to know what KD wants. And foods are called hidden states because DK doesn't get to know what KD wants. So these numbers are called transition probability. Because it's a probability of going from one hidden state to the un another hidden state and these numbers are called the emission probability probability that observations are emitted from the hidden, hidden states it's a 70 percent and 30 percent and here it's 80 percent and 20 percent now we'll ask three questions to ourselves how dk found these probabilities what is the probability that kd is moved to eat pizza or ice cream today if today is rainy day what is the probability that kd is moved to eat pizza or ice cream that we'll see in next class.